you'll be learning how to create a responsive card layout that look like this. You resize the width, the card resize. You resize the height, the inner cards resize as well. So let me show you how to create this from start to finish. To create a responsive uh, card layout, all I need is text and auto layout, which I'm going to show you now. So let's say I'm going to call my card, card. Add auto layout. Once I add auto layout, I'm just going to give it a background color mm, just to make things a little bit more visible. Okay. For the text, give it a white. For the entire frame, I'm going to give it a border radius of 4px. And then I'm going to call this cut. Once I've created a cut, I'm just going to create a component so that I can reuse it. Click on asset, search for cut, drag it here, click this and drag it here. Okay. So now that uh, I have a cut, the next thing that I'd like to do is to copy and paste. One, two, three. So I have three cards. Select all these cards, these three cards, right click, add auto layout. And for the uh, spacing between items, I'm going to give it 16px. So this is, uh, I'm just going to call these uh, cards. Okay. Select these cards, copy, and paste again. So now we have two rows of cards. Select these two rows of cards, right click, add auto layout. Okay. And now, mm, let me just make it a little bit more explicit. I'm just going to call it uh, two, uh, two rows of cards. Okay. Just for demonstration purpose. For two rows of cards, I'm going to give it a background color, white. Okay. For the spacing between items, I'm going to give it 16px. For the horizontal uh, paddings, I'm going to give it 16px. And vertical paddings, 16px as well. Okay. So, Let's see what happens when we have not set the cut in such a way that it responds to the size of the entire frame. Let me zoom out a little bit. Select the entire component for two rows of cuts. If I resize it, you realize that the cut did not change in the width. Okay, the width did not change. So what I'm going to do here is to select these two rows, select fill container. You realize that at the very least, the width of the rows has been expanded. But for the cut within the row, the width still have not expanded. So how can we fix that? Select each of the cut. I select one of the cut. I mean, select all the cuts over here change from hard content to fill container. You realize how the width just expanded to take up the entire uh, width of the uh, row. So do the same for the cards below. Select all the cards, right? Within cards component, select all the cut, change it from hard content to fill content. All right. So now we have solved the responsiveness for the width. So the next thing that we want to check is the responsiveness for the height itself. So if I were to change the height of two rows of cards uh, component, you realize that the height doesn't change. So you might want to pause this video for a while and see whether you have already figured out how to solve this problem. All right. I'm going to show you the approach on how to do that. So let me select again these two rows of cards. Change the vertical uh, sizing from hug 
to fill container. You realize that the card within the cards component, it did not resize in terms of the height. So to fix that, again, select all the cards within the cards component, all the cards, change the vertical uh, sizing from hug to fill container. And now do the same for the card on the second row. Select everything and change it to fill container. All right. Now, if I were to select the two rows of cards component, if I were to just resize it, you realize that now all the cards it will be responsive to the parent container. No matter what size you give it, it will just resize accordingly. Okay. So just to give you a quick summary of how to actually create a responsive card layout, what you need is for the individual card, make sure that even the width and the height, you change the uh, sizing to be to take up the entire uh, size of the width and the height by changing the uh, horizontal sizing to fill and vertical sizing to fill. And for the row container that is containing the cards, do the same, change the horizontal sizing to fill and vertical sizing to fill. All right, once you have that, everything is responsive. Right, so that's how you go about creating a responsive card layout. So if you find this video useful, subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know down in the comments below um, so that I know what other tutorials uh, that would be beneficial for you. And I'll see you in the next video.